Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Today we're going to play the final match on the Skybet League 1, the second season we are um, in this league. And it's very exciting because it's the best possible scenario. Let's have a look at the competitions. Uh, Rotherham and Hereford are tied. So that means if we win this match, even if we win this match, it is not guaranteed we will get the title. We will get promoted, we are promoted, uh, we guaranteed that in the previous match. But we are not guaranteed to get the title, because if rather than win against, I want to say, Nottingham, I think, uh, they, they then are still... Um, I think they probably still get um, goal difference advantage unless we win by a huge margin but yeah so what we really want is for rather them to well even if they just draw and we win that's good if they lose and we draw that's good if they lose and we win that's also good if they win by one goal difference and we win by six goal difference that's also good uh, although it's highly unlikely we will win by a six goal difference. We're playing against Bradford City, who are currently um, standing at 12th. Very excited that we are going to get promoted to the Skybet Championship next season, so that is awesome. Uh, as far as changes, there haven't been many changes at all uh, in the squad, but we have been playing a lot of our youth um, in the matches, so let's have a quick look to see what sort of level we're at at the moment uh wait that's all the time we don't want that one stats competitions overall this season so we've had quite a few let's find a youth player craig noon 13 appearances for us with three goals claudio olivedo eight appearances with two goals harry crawford center back Oh, actually, no, he's not. He's a uh, box-to-box. -box. Seven appearances, two goals. Manny Blake, three appearances. Jake Peckering, five in all. Ollie Morgan, two. Emmanuel Eze, two in all. Ian with just one as a centre-back a couple matches ago. And, oh, actually, we actually played Vince. We had, um, uh, Tom Yates was injured with this minor injury. And our backup goalkeeper was on international duty for Australia, I believe. And therefore, Vince came up and did really well. 7.3 average rating for that match. I mean, rating for that match. It was not average because he only played one. And I think that's it. I think no one else knew that we pulled in. But yeah, you can see playing Craig Noon a lot and Claudio a lot um, in our matches. Now, for this match, I've already selected the team. We're going to play with Tom Yates, uh, and then uh, Richard South and Rico Henry as the fullbacks, well, fullback and wingback. Hills and, Sh and uh, uh, Conrad for the center, center of defense. Alan Jardin, halfback, Mike Davis. So these are actually the backups, but never mind. Um, Malachi is doing really well for us. I think he's our top goal scorer this season. Mac Dodds, our usual. Chaos, who was on injury for a huge amount of time, but he's back now. And Neil Holt, our striker. So, uh, yeah, let's look at Mike. Fitness, he was two months with shin splits. Uh, so, yeah, so he's just coming back to sharpness again. <laughs> and it's the last match, so... Dynamic-wise, um, no, not really any changes there. We still have Mike Dodds and Brad Hills. Now, we have had our youth intake. So, if I go to reports... Actually, just do that. So, that's kind of the quality we're expecting from our youth at the moment. Um, quite, quite... Uh, I think he's new, but he's not. I'm not sure. Yeah, we've got quite a few... Uh, youth players there, so I've sorted out the under-18s. I haven't yet sorted through the under-23s, so there's still some sorting out to do here that I'm going to do uh, in the off-season, just to make sure 
everyone's training what they should be training. All the old players, I'm gonna try and sell them or just end their contract. And then slim the squad down to 22 players again, ready for the next season. So that's good. I'm hoping that we will have a youth league next season. I'm not sure we will because our money, we will see in a minute, is quite low. But the best news is that we have just moved back to our new extended... Well, it's not a new stadium, but it's an extend, expanded stadium. We now have 8,000 um, standing. Well, 8,000 overall, 5,700 seating. So that's great. Back in our stadium for the next season, uh, which will hopefully um, result in better income. Finance-wise, we are nearly two and a half million in the red. So I'm hoping the board has some bright ideas about how we can turn this around. I literally have not spent uh, over budget in any anything. So I'm actually even being cautious, not getting like carried away with. You know, I, I know I don't need. To, two additional performance analysts so I'm not getting them so I have, I'm not being silly with my spending however if we look at the expenditure the main reason we are spending so much money oh I thought it was the youth setup anyway the youth that set up at one point was our biggest biggest expense last year it was the youth set up and then the ground maintenance didn't really count because we got a loan for that that was for the extension of the stadium expansion of the stadium but yeah so pay player wages that's not going to get any lower i don't think but i'm hoping that next season because we will be right below the premier league that liverpool hopefully will let us loan some players for free now let's go into the match we're going to play an attacking mentality with Direct passing, um, we never waste time. We're going to focus on the left so Dodds get some more work to do. Nothing different here. We're going to push the defense, sorry, push the opposition outside. You're going to use tighter marking, and that's basically it. We're very familiar with it, and it, intensity wise, you know, it's high intensity because that's what, how we roll. Yeah, so the biggest thing that's kind of stopping stopping our ability to get better players. I was actually very impressed with the quality of players we were able to get on loan and also the, our finish, our table finish. Wow, Malachi. 15th goal of the league. I think only 10 for the... Sorry, 15th goal of the season. I think only 10 for the league. So he hasn't ranked very high at all in the um, overall league table but um yeah so i was very impressed with the quality of players we were able to get on loan but we could have gotten a lot better if we had a decent budget if we had a budget like all the other teams in our league uh, we don't we have a very very tiny budget and it's not like we have players that we can sell for half a million or a million or anything like that so our youth players are good but they're not worth that amount of money. Oh, that's poor, poor marking. That's right. So we're tied. Uh, I very much doubted that Rotherham will be losing, but they are losing at the moment. Yes, so we we need to sort out finances, really. That's the biggest thing, That's the largest thing. So I'm hoping that the, the, the biggest way we can cut on our player wage bill is by getting free loans. Um, and we're not going to get free loans unless we can... Maybe, obviously, Liverpool is a, is a source of free loans that we can tap into. But also, like, if we could extend our scouting range and see if there's any uh, players out there outside of the UK. The only thing with that is they need to be 
there's like a because of the immigration rules it's actually really hard to get players who aren't international players in like it playing for their international leagues so that's yeah that's gonna be hard to do I think to be fair we have a, a couple of our youth players are you know pretty pretty much ready to assume a full-time role for the first team um, just need to see how they develop over the next couple over the next couple of months and um, <clears throat> here goes chaos again oh no okay right I think it's time for subs one more sub right let's have a look at it so okay he's so got a yellow I don't want to end up with 10 players that would be that would be hard I know he scored a goal but McGregor is also capable of scoring long range goals so not worry about that nice chaos pass the ball please or oh, just go for it at that point yeah okay chaos causing chaos Although his name is probably Chaos, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but I'm going to say Chaos because, you know, it sounds better. So I'm hoping that Rotherham are still losing because that would mean that we have the title if they are still losing. And in fairness, if they draw, even if they draw, we still get the title at this point. As it stands, unless ah, there you go. Tom Yates gathering, confident. Tom Yates defense again. Tom Yates done very, very well for us this season. Um. I don't think we need to get a new goalkeeper next season. We might need to get a new backup goalkeeper. But, um... Uh, to be fair, we don't need to because we got Vince. And I think Vince could potentially... Yeah, I think I think Vince is probably ready to be a backup goalkeeper, to be fair. And he did very well for us in that one, one match. So I might actually have to do what I promised to do a couple of seasons ago. To have just first um, 11 top players, if you see what I mean. And then use the youth for, you know, the backup. I don't know. I don't know if that would be a good idea or not. But that might be risky, but as we'll see. Okay, so... Oh no, Rotherham. Rotherham took the title, but that's okay. That's okay. We didn't get the title this time around, but that's fine. We missed that on a title by a few goals. Um, probably five goals, to be honest. Uh, let's have a look oh, now. Okay, let's have a look at the table again. Goal difference. Oh no, I, I don't know how I thought it was five goals. There's a lot more. I, I must have read that wrong earlier. They have 42 goals in the goal difference and we only have 26. They have a huge goal difference. Wow. Anyway, congratulations Rotherham. We came second. I don't think we've ever come second before, so I'm pretty happy with that. And we got a little bit of prize money as well. Okay, so yeah, let's just have a look at 
Let's have a look at the competitions again. Skyback with one. Rules. I'm just intrigued to see what was the prize money for Rotherham. 27k. Not bad. Not bad indeed. So next season, we're going to go up against these people. These teams. Uh, Brighton's are getting promoted with West Brom. Potentially some of these are going to disappear. So we're going to have in this league QPR, Cardiff, Charlton, Newcastle, Nottingham Forest, Reading, Middlesbrough, Brenton, Millwall, Bristol City, Huddersfield, Stoke, Barnsley, Sunderland, and Portsmouth. Potentially one of these as well. And whoever is getting demoted. <laughs> so Fulham, Burnsley, and potentially Swansea. Or actually likely to be Swansea because there's quite a goal it's quite a point difference there. Uh, yeah, Swansea and Fulham and Burnley for us as well. So it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. Our parent club, Liverpool, finished. Well, he's not finished yet. they still got quite a few to go, actually. Uh, no, they've got three, three matches to go, which is still quite a few, actually. Yeah, so they're going to finish in the top six. Not bad indeed. So let's see if we can get um, some end of season awards. I think it's going to take a while because the playoffs need to play out. Uh, is the um, am I able to send someone back on loan? from loan? No. I wanted to save some money. I always love to um, um, end loans soon. It's like as soon as the matches end because that's a way to save money. Okay. Alright, let's see. So I like to look at the um, fans and stuff. Oh, Dodds. Yeah. So let's, uh, uh, many wise, we did slightly less last season. We didn't get as far in the Pop Johns because we, we got knocked out in the quarterfinal by Hull. And we we got further in the FA Cup this season, I think, but not, I think we, we just got to the third round. We had a sponsorship though, so next, I'm hoping, like, this will improve next season, I'm hoping. And we might be able to go further in the cup tournaments next season as well. Okay, so Tom Yates with South, Max Clark, Harkness and Brandon. There's just Abreu. Oh, he's got, he actually got promoted to the end of the 23s now, so he's not playing for the first team anymore, but fair play. He played for the first half season. Uh, Malachi, Chaos and Dodds and Holt. Yeah, that's all good. Here we made a few different, a uh, few changes. But um, still roughly correct. Fan play of the season, Mark Dodds. Young play of the season, Mark Dodds. He's, um, he's been young for us for a very long time now. Uh, sign of the season, Rico Henry. Really? Okay. Goal of the season was Richard South. There was a screamer from, yeah, like quite a few meters outside the area. Um, top goal scorer, Malachi with 15 goals. Most sits for Dodds, most players of the match for Dodds. Highest rating for our goalkeeper, Tom Yates. And again, a halfback getting the most completed passes. Um, record breakers, Mark Dodds apparently broke the record for 11 assists. Oh, really? And fastest goal in 44 seconds goes to Gordon Harkness. That's going to be hard to beat. Okay, so from this I always like to tell you which ones are players of the past. Will Huffer, goalkeeper of the past. Gary of the past. Ryan Lloyd, original player from Hereford, by the way. Also of the past now. Uh, Brad Hills is still with us, but he was with us from the start, I think. First or second season. Same thing with Kaya. So the, Brad Hills, well done for him. Because he's going to be possibly with us again next season. So he's gone all the way from Van Ryan League North to Skybet Championship, which is incredible. Kaya is on his way out of the club. 
hopefully this summer. Uh, Tobin of the past, Simon Parnell is still with us, but he's in the end of 23s now. Jack Robinson is of the past, Palmer is also of the past. Bran is also of the past, and Dodds, funnily enough, is being quoted as a striker, but he's, all, he's never played that position, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, Dodds is obviously with us. Okay, we were aggressive and clinical, busy and impenetrable. More expect more goals than expected, more points than expected. Uh, let's keep this. Okay, let's go look at the expectations. Oh, there we go. Selling players for money. I knew this was gonna come sooner or later. I'm gonna be fighting bravely. A lot. I'm gonna take away. I always like to take away as much as possible. I don't like to commit to anything. So they want us to play a solid defense game, which largely depends on many goals we concede, and direct football, which we always do anyway. We want to repair the club's finance damage. To be fair, I didn't cause it. Maybe I did by asking for better youth, but anyway. End of season meeting. We're going to be fighting bravely against relegation, aren't we? So... Uh, within the brilliant year, end of season, I wanted to know... I'll fight hard against the relegation, okay. So I'm going to bring in some new faces to fight hard against the relegation. Uh, no promises today. I'm sorry, Miles. And that's it. Uh, still can't send anyone away, can I? Okay, I need to wait for the transfer window to open back up. Troy um, is just a backup goalkeeper that we're training up for the youth. So we're going to go with concentration if possible. For some reason, I still can't train him. I was waiting for some end of season prizes, but I think those have to wait until after the playoffs. Let's try and press spacebar lots of times <laughs> to see if they come. I don't want to make the episode longer than, longer than 25 minutes though, so let's see. Okay, so that's one round of playoffs. So we've got a so a Vince Golden Goldsmark Ford. Um, he's it says here he's on, he's on international duty. That's because he's playing the Under Twenties World Cup, I think. So yeah, he's a pretty good goalkeeper. I think I will likely keep him next year as our backup. Either that, or if we do end up having a. Um, under 23's league, then he, obviously I'll leave him there because he still needs to develop a few things. Um, he he needs to work on his throwing and his long long kicks. He's pretty much ready otherwise, but his long his um, long kicks is that what? yeah long kicks um, aren't aren't the best. So I need I want him to improve that a little bit before. He's ready to be committed to a first team position. Nothing staying in the other twenty threes won't harm him. Um, but I would love if the other twenty threes had a league. So I'm hoping that with all of the you know being promoted and all that, the board will realise that we need to increase our youth level.
okay, come on, let's let's have some end of season awards. I really would like that to be a thing in this episode. Anyway, in while we wait, I can tell you all about liking, subscribing, checking the description for links such as the Patreon link, also the link to free shares for on the free trade app if you are interested and you've never used free trade before. Uh, what else? I don't think I've put a HelloFresh there. If I might put HelloFresh there. I'm not sure if HelloFresh has a link. It possibly does. Yeah, so um, feel free to engage in the comments as well. I do tend to respond to them uh, if they require a response. But yeah, so the biggest thing is um, just liking, really. It really helps out that... Um, This, the 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 channel really, um, benefits from that, as you know. But also, like if you if you subscribe, you will get notified when I release a new episode. And the next few episodes should be exciting because we're gonna see how we fare in the Scarbet Championship. We are a very very small club that has come all the way from the Vanarama North, and we're now gonna try to go for Skybet Championship and a cheap promotion to the Premier League. I only just thought of that. If we I think we won't be we won't be doing that in the first season, for sure. Well I mean we might not even stay up the first season. But um eventually if if we do well in the Skybet Championship we will have a chance of being promoted to the Premier League and that's like everyone's dream isn't it to take care of it to the Premier League so Let's hope that that's, that ends up happening in this series. I keep the series as a playlist as well, so you can just flip through uh, different episodes. They are all labelled with the episode number. And now I'm just feeling time to wait for the end of season awards. Come on, end of season awards. Unless... Let's see. Let's, let's have a look to see if all the playoffs have been played. Can I interrupt this? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, right, let's have a look at competitions again. Ah, they still have one playoff to go. wonder when the playoff is. Uh, competitions. Okay, the final will be on the 25th of May. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I won't wait around for the, for the end of season awards because it'll take a while to get there. But uh, I will let you know on Patreon if any of our players gets an award, I will post it there. Um, I think I did that last, like in the last season in the match as well, when Brad Hills got awarded the player of the season. To my surprise, I, I had no idea that Brad Hills would even get close to being player of the season. But he, yeah, he did get awarded player of the season last, last, uh, y last year in the game, which is hilarious because he's a half, um, he's a centre back. But anyway, yes. So I will post it on Patreon if any of our players get an award, and you can catch up there. See you in the next one. Bye bye.